Books. Got another unboxing for you today. It's a robotic dog, robotic puppy. Uh, this cost a hundred dollars or a hundred pounds when it was first released six years ago. And I was able to get a, one in very good condition with original accessories for just £15 on eBay. So this is a robotic dog by MGA. It was called Georgie and it's got voice recognition and it does a lot of stuff. So there was a reason why this dog got some uh, poor reviews at the time and why it wasn't really suitable for children but as an adult collector that makes no difference so i'll talk about that folks after i've got this dog out of the box so there's georgie As you can see he's in lovely condition. The seller said he's fully functional. He's got his original little neckerchief. He's got his original training manual, which is really nice. Glossy manual in colour. He's got his original tug toy. And he's got his original charging lead because this dog comes with a rechargeable battery. So, as you can see, Georgie is in a realistic style, which I like and which I think generally appeals more to adults than the sort of cartoony type style with big eyes that a lot of products have now. And an unusual thing about this particular model is the wheels, that it's got wheels on the bottom of its feet. It's got like three moving wheels at the back and then motor driven wheels at the front. So as I say, this has got built in battery. I don't know if he's got any charge in him, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I must put some charge in him. He looks like he's raring to go, so let's have a look at the manual and see what he does. Georgie, interactive puppy, loves to cuddle and get into trouble. Puppy training guide. I like how they call it a training guide. So it starts with a certificate of adoption. And then the next page we've got getting started. Georgie is charged and ready to play right out of the box. If he seems sluggish, try recharging the battery. Hey Georgie, once Georgie has been turned on, he is ready to play. When Georgie stops moving and waits for a command, say hey Georgie, then say one of the blue commands in this puppy training guide. Then watch and listen as Georgie responds. Always say hey Georgie. And wait until Georgie responds with yipping before giving a command. Georgie can only respond to one command at a time. Let Georgie finish a command before saying another. And then it gives you an example. Hey Georgie. Georgie yips to acknowledge your voice. Let's dance. Georgie plays music and dances. So let's just try that first. Hey Georgie. <laughs> let's dance. I'll just say he understood me. I'll not say his name because then he answers. <laughs> so he understood that command. Now I'll explain to you folks what the problem was with this dog when it came out. If you look at Amazon.com and you 
look at the reviews on Amazon.com, a lot of parents were complaining because this dog can't understand children. The pitch of a child's voice is not recognisable to this dog, so it won't recognise any of the commands that a child gives it. And some people said it even would only recognise a male voice, uh, an adult male. My voice mustn't be too high because he recognised me. But this was obviously really frustrating as most people were buying this as a present for the kids for Christmas. It basically wasn't usable by a child and caused a lot of frustration as mums and dads could get Georgie to do things but the kid that got Georgie couldn't. Bit of an oversight on the part of MGA. Okay if they'd made this for adults but that wasn't their audience originally. So as we've seen Georgie move around a bit let's talk about how many moving parts Georgie has before we move on in the manual to read some of the manual. So Georgie wags his tail, he opens his mouth, he can sit, um, he can also beg as he is now. Obviously his front legs move so he can do a little walking step on his wheels. He can move both forwards and backwards. I don't think the eyes close. <laughs> It doesn't look like those are mechanical eyes. But he has a lot of movement overall. So we'll go back to the manual. Let's see what else Georgie does. And then I'll try putting some more charge in Georgie because I'm not sure if he's fully charged or not. We'll see if that makes any difference to how he moves. So the manual lists 12 commands. And then most of the rest of the manual is just these commands with a sort of photograph of the dog carrying out the command. So we've got sit down, speak, good boy, want to go for a walk, stand up, shake, high five, I love you, let's dance, selfie, bath time. And are you hungry? So what we'll do is we'll look at the charging information and make sure he's fully charged and then I'll try out some of these commands. Charging information. If Georgie seems sluggish or not properly responding to commands, the battery may need charging. Turn Georgie off stroke charging. Let the battery cool for 10 minutes after use. Insert the USB cable into the battery box. Insert the large end of the USB into a wall adapter. The LED will light up in red while charging. Charge Georgie for one to one and a half hours. The LED will turn green when charging is complete. Full charge will lend about one and a half hours of playtime. So I've got Georgie plugged into an adapter here on red, but now it seems to be changing to green. And it has gone solid green now, so it must be fully charged. Hey Georgie, <coughs> sit down. Hey Georgie, speak. Hey Georgie, speak. I didn't understand you either. Not gotten to respond to that one, either me or you. Mm. Hey Georgie, good boy. Hey Georgie, want to go for a walk? <laughs> hey 
Hey, Georgie. Stand up. Hey, Georgie. Stand up. Was my accent there? He didn't like. Hey, Georgie. Shake. Hey, Georgie. Shake. Interesting. So he understood you saying that command and not me, which that accords with what I've read that mm. he understands an adult male more than a female. So his voice recognition is a bit flaky, really. Mm. Hey, Georgie. <coughs> High five. <coughs> hey, Georgie. <coughs> I love you. Hey Georgie, <coughs> selfie. <coughs> That's him posing for a selfie. Ah. Hey Georgie, <coughs> bath time. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> hey Georgie, <coughs> are you hungry? <coughs> hey Georgie, <coughs> are you hungry? Yes, it was my accent. Tug of war. Open Georgie's mouth and place the rope all the way at the back of the tongue. Pull gently to play tug of war until Georgie stops and is ready for the next command. A bad game of tug. It's dropped it now. Snuggle. Pet Georgie's head to hear barking, yipping, and panting. If you pet Georgie's head four times, Georgie will lay down. Georgie will yawn, say I love you, and go to sleep. Note Georgie will have to be turned off and then back on to wake up again. For some reason, I can't get Georgie to lie down and go to sleep. Maybe his uh, touch sensor on his head's not working anymore, if it did originally. So that concludes this unboxing and demonstration of Georgie. As someone said in one of the reviews I read, it was a great concept, but very poorly executed. In terms of the voice recognition and somebody also pointed out that they could have got him to do more interesting things like come here and get him to move forward they could have had a lot more interesting fun commands than the ones that they gave him but I'll be talking about Georgie again in the near future because I'm going to do a comparison between Georgie and what I consider the much better Moji. So that's coming soon, folks. But for this video, thanks for watching as always, and see you next time.